Every year, SolidWorks adds enhancements to help you design amazing products in less time. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. The user interface has a new modern look and feel. Text and icon sizes are now linked to Windows Display Scaling, making it more suitable for the newer 4 and 5K monitors, and ensures that the interface is ready for the next decade. The updated color scheme is easier on the eyes and is more suitable for colorblind people. Breadcrumbs are now available to make it easy to select between vertex, edge, face, body, part, and subassembly commands. The context menu is tailored to what is chosen, and to minimize mouse travel, you can bring the breadcrumbs and the confirmation corner to the cursor location by hitting the D key. In the sketch environment, a new midpoint line is available. Select the midpoint and sketch out one side of the line. The other side is created symmetrically. And of course, a midpoint relation is added to maintain the symmetry. Sketch relation pop-ups are now available upon termination of a sketch entity. At the end of an arc, tangency can immediately be applied. At the end of a line, all valid relations are presented and can be added on the fly. It is no longer necessary to select multiple items to add relations. Just select a common endpoint and the appropriate relations are presented on the pop-up toolbar. A new thread feature is available, enabling users to now model accurate internal and external threads in one quick and easy to use command. A broad range of standard thread sizes are available, and custom profiles can be created as well. A new Up to Reference pattern option allows you to select a reference to control how many instances will be created at a given spacing, or to equally space a given number of instances. If the location of the reference is moved, the number of instances is recalculated without having to create equations. There is now quick access to document units. Change them directly from the status bar or access them in the options. There are also new rounding options to make sure that your designs match company standards. A new tool is available for creating sheet metal gussets. This new feature allows users to add gussets to their sheet metal parts without any workarounds or tricks. The Property Manager provides every possible scenario, meaning there is no further adjusting of the part. And of course, the outline and center point of the feature are available when the part is flattened. The Flatten Surface feature added in SolidWorks 2015 now allows you to flatten surfaces with internal holes and cutouts. Additional 2D geometry lying on the surface can now also be flattened and relief cuts can be added to the flat surface to ensure proper fit and function, and reduces problems associated with induced stresses when forming into 3D. The new chain component pattern is a powerful tool for setting up pattern components along an open or closed path to dynamically simulate a chain drive or cable carrier. This allows the use of single or alternating links and provides real-time movement to simulate how the energy chain will behave in your assembly. Assemblies with lots of degrees of freedom can be challenging to manipulate, but the new mate controller allows you to easily manipulate the mates and control the degrees of freedom. Mates that control the motion can be gathered, and using the intuitive interface, you can operate the assembly and create positions. Mate positions can be manipulated using sliders or directly on screen by dragging. You can create animations between the positions and save the animations as videos. This new innovative tool will save loads of time in getting your assembly in just the right positions. SolidWorks Exploded Views now support radial and rotational explodes. Choose the new radial explode tool, the components to be exploded, and the access to define the explode direction, and drag the parts to the explode location. Rotational explode steps can be added with the new rotation rings. Individual components can be rotated around the axis of your choice, or you can choose to explode multiple components and have them rotate about each component's origin. Using the explode animation, you can achieve a more realistic representation of the assembly process. With quick access from the status bar, it's now simple to change the sheet scale of a drawing. It is now easier than ever to add balloons to a stack by dragging them, and their order can be manipulated or sorted. 
On drawings, spline leaders are now available, which can be used with notes and balloons. The shape of the spline is fully editable, and these are especially useful for patent drawings or for just pointing to that tough-to-reach part. SolidWorks MBD defines 3D PMI, such as dimensions, datums, geometric tolerances, and other annotations within the SolidWorks 3D environment. 3D views organize PMI data into clean and structured presentations with different views and display settings, such as configurations and display states. These 3D views can be shared using industry standard formats, such as eDrawings and 3D PDF, helping others in the supply chain understand the design without a 2D drawing. New in SolidWorks Simulation is the ability to automatically take fasteners out of SolidWorks toolbox, identify them, and convert them to bolt connectors. This is an incredibly fast and automated process, which not only takes the legwork of doing this manually, but also ensures you have accurate information for your connectors. Taking a deeper look at these connectors, we can see that it has automatically generated the size of the bolt, the nut, the shaft, material properties, strength information, and one of the more valuable properties is the preload for that size fastener and class. For nonlinear analysis, you can now view intermediate result steps while solving, making it easy to review progress and immediately take action if changes need to be made without waiting for it to complete. The new mesh sectioning tool allows you to view the internal mesh using a section plane. This allows you to verify the mesh density below the surface to ensure accurate results. This sectioning is also supported for display of results, and the mesh can be projected onto clipping plane if desired. SolidWorks Treehouse is a new standalone application for building new and managing existing assembly structures using an intuitive graphical interface. By simply dragging and dropping parts and assemblies onto each other, you can build up your assembly structure in seconds. Each part or a subassembly can then be edited to include custom properties, configurations, and quantities. Drawings can also be added to both parts and assemblies. When complete, the entire structure can then be exported into a full SolidWorks file structure. Two new tools are available to all SolidWorks 2016 professional and premium customers. First is a new document management tool called SolidWorks PDM Standard. This new tool is based on SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, which has been renamed to SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional. The second is a new standalone rendering tool called SOLIDWORKS Visualize. SOLIDWORKS Visualize is the fastest and easiest way to get photo quality images of your 3D models. These are just a few of the enhancements that get added for each release of SOLIDWORKS. By enrolling in SOLIDWORKS Subscription Service, you get access to these and hundreds of other new product features, productivity tools, improved software performance, and technical support. Contact your reseller to get more information on how SolidWorks subscription service can increase your productivity and help you design amazing products.